There you go. Okay. okay. So in preparation yes. for our billion dollar victory. Right. Professor Conley is going to help us out here. We're going to do a little math. We're going to talk about, you always hear, okay, the odds of winning are whatever. So we're going to talk about how you actually calculate those odds. And we use a formula for combinations, right? We're trying to figure out, okay, we're pulling out five of the white balls and one of the yellow balls. Well, how do we figure that out? Well, we have to use this math thing called factorials. What a factorial means, for example, five factorial is five times four times three times two times one all the way down. So a factorial is that number times every other number all the way down to one. So here's the factorial. N is the number that you have to choose from, right? So each number in the lottery, it could be one to 70. Um, and R is the number of balls they're gonna pick out out of those 70. So if we have 70 factorial divided by uh, five factorial times the difference between the two, we can cancel the 65 factorials and simply multiply to get 12,103,014. And then we do the same thing for the white ball. We only can pick one ball uh, out of five. So we do the math there and we cancel out that. We end up with 25 options, right? There's only 25 balls, you only have 25 choices. So we multiply those together to figure out Let's how see. many different combinations there are. So if you wow. wanted to corner the <laughs> to market explain it briefly. and yeah. win your billion dollars, you could spend $302,575,350 in tickets. And potentially, if you're the only winner, will you then get your billion dollars? Yeah, how would that work, right? You'd spend that many, you'd get every single as combination. As long as you're the only winner. So, right. Because if, if someone else wins, now then you're you have to, to, then you have to split that, it, then you have to. Taxes and you lose money. Exactly, you have to cut it out. So, for I guess taxes I won't that. spend Always my 300. Always looking for the loophole. Well, I guess I won't spend my 302 million. <laughs> I, like I was that. looking for where to invest it, and I now I won't. Jess, I wish you were my math teacher <laughs> growing up, because that I understood. It would be fun.